Welcome to Morningstar. I'm Holly Black. With me is Gida Blonet. He's manager of the Jupiter Financial Opportunities Fund. Hello. Good morning, Holly. So, as the fund name suggests, you're focused on the financial sector. And I think this is one where there's been some real disparity and real winners and losers in terms of the themes we've seen in recent months. So, I mean, I guess the obvious place to start is with the traditional banks. How are you looking at those at the moment, particularly in light of government involvement and dividend cuts? Yes, I think um, this year we've seen um, um, quite extraordinary, due to the uh, pandemic, we've seen extraordinary uh, events such as um, regulators uh, pushing or pressurizing companies, banks in particular, but also companies in the insurance industry, especially in Europe, to oh, within the eurozone, to uh, suspend or cut their dividends. I think um, fundamentally there could be some justification for the bank, banking sector, as provision levels have to go up, obviously, for to cover. Um, uh, uh, losses on companies going under uh, as a result of this crisis, but uh, not all um, actors within these two sectors uh, have just or, 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 or have uh, shortfalls or uh, capital weaknesses. So the justification is arguably um, uh, uh, still ongoing or an ongoing question. But I would say that if you had been focusing on subsectors that are linked to um, financial innovation, um, you would you would certainly be uh, better exposed to this digital transformation that actually COVID-19 is accelerating, this migration to a, towards a cashless society, this need to have um, a, a, a technology infrastructure to support a working from home environment. Well, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. This is a major trend, isn't it? We've got shops not even accepting cash at the moment. So how does that change the outlook for that more traditional part of the bank sector that perhaps still relies on those cash payments? Well, as you said, as you as you suggested, uh, um, uh, cash is, is, is dirty. And it's now um, uh, allowing this uh, uh, an acceleration in in this migration towards a cashless society, um, I would I would I would say that um, companies that didn't have uh, a digital strategy are embarking into one. They are certainly um, um, uh, um, uh, 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 pushing or investing into um, uh, this area to make sure that um, uh, there are there is a possibility to embrace the e-commerce facility that companies have to rely on with this new environment that COVID-19 has put us into. Obviously, disruptors and sort of upstarts might have a bit of a leg up on the competition here because this is exactly where they've been focusing their efforts for years. But what are some of the innovations you're most interested in? Well, you're right in the first part of your question. You're right that... Uh, uh, banks or insurance companies in the US have been investing in digital transformation for, for years now. One of the reasons is because they have the capital to do so. In Europe, or especially within the Eurozone, uh, companies or banks or insurance, or more, like, more specifically banks, don't have the capital to um, invest as much as they would like to into a digital transformation. Innovation um, for us is, uh, 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 relies on three pillars. We've got uh, payment solutions to enable, uh, as we mentioned earlier, this cashless society to progress. Um, data analytics, companies to understand better their clients, especially if they are ordering online and not going to a shop physically anymore. And obviously, make sure that the ecosystem that you have developed for your clients, especially the millennials and the generation Z that are more tech savvy, to make sure that there is a cybersecurity um, uh, um, uh, 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 platform that is securing your business to make sure that uh, customers are, are safe to do business with you. Thank you so much for your time. For Morningstar, I'm Holly Black.